um, hi guys, this is Rose the Beast, um, and I'm just making a quick, um, tutorial on how to make a menu base for MW2, so, let's get started. First, what I would recommend doing is getting Notepad++, this is, um, I don't know, it's always helpful to me when I'm making a menu base um, or anything of that matter um yeah and then what you want to do is you want might might want to set the language on it to C sharp this just makes it color coded it's right there C sharp C sharp it's under language and then yeah so let's um I'll brief you up on the from what I know of the background of MW2GSE um, from what I know it's um, mainly derived from C sharp and it's composed of many languages actually so yeah now you see this text I have here it's um, just the functions I always use before making a menu base it's this is my button handling so it just lets you know when you press a button or anything of that um, press a button anything like on your PS3 controller Xbox controller PC um, that it'll notify MW2 that you pressed a button and let you let just let you continue that action so yeah that's my button handling and these are just some miscellaneous functions that I have um, create shader create rectangle and create text now I know this was created by K Brizzle and I'm not sure who these two were by so if I don't give credit I'm sorry because I don't know who created these functions um yeah I think th this was by K Brizzle the button handling was by K Brizzle and Craig Craig Chris 8239 so yeah all right let's get started now if you see these little green things with um these uh forward and backward slashes and the stars or forward slashes the their comments and i'm going to be using them frequently throughout my videos and um, throughout my video this video and what it basically does it's like for whoever's scripting a piece of code is a reminder so you can put this anywhere in your code and it won't it won't affect it won't affect it at all it won't like it won't change the scripting it won't get you a syntax it won't get you anything like that so let's get started also sometimes my friend he's listening in he's also going to be, be asking questions um he's going to be asking questions if he has anything um his name's extreme cs so yeah, you might be asking questions frequently that other users have or might have. So let's get started. Our menu. Start. So I'm gonna call where we start our menu start menu. All right, you can name your function anything. It's just what I chose to name it. So you want to start your function, then you want to let MW2 know when it ends. So it's gonna end when we disconnect. So self end on disconnect. Then you wanna um self thread your button um, your button functions because it already self threads your monitor actions here which is what you really need but so we're going to self thread our buttons and we're going to have our variable for the menu open we're going to do self dot menu open now when you start the game you obviously want your menu not to be open so we're gonna make it self dot menu open is false now if you just did if you didn't put the self dot in front of it then it'll it'll only um it'll only work in this function that you're doing so self dot menu open it lets you basically do it throughout the whole gsc so so if you put a self dot in front of it yeah so then we're gonna so now we want to uh, create our buttons. We want to create that. We want to tell MW that if we press a certain button, button, then we want our uh, menu to load. So we're gonna run our buttons in a for loop. 
and a for loop is like just it's a continuous loop it just keeps looping and looping and you always all at the end of almost any for loop you wanna um, put a wait in there so it it doesn't just keep looping and looping without recognizing that there's something in it right so we wanna have a self wait till button press button that's for our button handling it already has a self notify here so yeah now let's do a let's do a, an if statement so we're gonna do if our button equals so you can't just have one equals in an if statement um, otherwise you'll get a syntax equals equals means it checks to see if your button equals whatever you put after that but in this case it's up um just a question yeah uh what are if statements so if statements is um are statements that say if you do this then the program is going to execute whatever piece of code you uh write after that all right okay all right so we're going to do if button equals equals up um and and this just means and two ands and and um not the exclamation point means not self dot menu open so basically that's saying and the self dot menu opens equals false this i put i put that there because you don't want it to keep loading the menu again even when you're inside the menu um so when you press up to scroll up inside the menu you don't want it to load the whole menu again right and so now we're gonna have make it self dot menu open equals true because now the menu is open and you want to make it freeze your controls this is a default function inside mw2 then you just want to have make um you want to do self thread load menu uh whatever it now our argument inside the function load menu is going to be called menu so whatever menu you want it to be i'm going to uh uh, make the menu be called tooth and um, yeah and then now I'm gonna leave a comment for myself to define this because I haven't defined it this yet and then we're gonna have self thread create user interface and then I have to define that and then we want to close our if statement we want to put a wait before we end the for loop we want to close our for loop and then we want to close our function